Hi, I'm Kelly Hill Ross and welcome to my show. Before we tune into the show, I want you to sit down and relax, have a cup of coffee, tea, or your favorite beverage. Our show today is all about real estate brokers and a staging company that can make your house look like a million bucks if you're in the market to sell your property or to renovate your property. This is the story about Mazette Meredith. She started her company in 2006. She learned about being in business and handling money from a very profitable family, the Black and Decker family, Mr. Alonzo Decker. He shared his knowledge with her about being in business and on handling money. This also kicks off our regular segment on real estate. We'll give you tips on how to sell your home and stage it. The old adage, your home is your castle, is true. There's nothing like owning your own home, if that is your desire. She has over 25 years of industry experience, specializing in assisting buyers with purchasing luxury homes and a few new construction homes and regular homes. She is an associate broker with EXP Realty and owner of Mid-Atlantic Interior Design and Staging. So I hope you enjoy this segment. They have anything available? Zero four ten two six six zero twenty zero. Let's see what they say. And this is a this is a warehouse that I'm looking for for a client of mine. His name is Ted Thornton. Uh, uh, yes, hi. Uh, my name is Mazette Meredith. I'm calling about the warehouse space you have at 125 North Crescent Street. Yes, it's already been, um, it's already occupied. Okay, do you have any other warehouse spaces available? We do not at the moment. Oh, okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Well, they already rented the space, so I have to go back and try to look for more spaces that is available. All right, so I'll be making more calls again today. And I have a cool look, and it's the architect made it so it could match the architecture of the house, which is kind of cool. You know, this house was the uh, show house for Baltimore last year. And so we had 22 designers in the house and they each had a separate room assigned to them. And this was what one of the designers did. We took away most of what everybody did except for this room. Mm -hmm. um, there was something about, I mean, it took them like two weeks just to do the ceiling. Mm -hmm. um, but I may be exaggerating, but it took a long time. The other thing I'm, a little uncertain about that is the silver, you know, for this home, you know, but when they had it all set up. The way they put it together, you did a good job the way they put it together. Right. Because I would have never thought about doing a combination like that. When we came, that was another one of their trophy things. They were into animal hunting. Oh, um, okay. So, <laughs> I kept that and we're probably going to use it in the basement and I'll show you pretty much. Those are beautiful. Yep. Actually, all the beams and everything, I put all that in, mm -hmm. you know, because it was just plain old ceiling. Right, that gave um, a really nice look. I like that with the lattice. Right. That is really nice. So, how long have you been working on this house? It's been a little bit over a year. Over a year? Yep, yep. And we're probably about two months to three months from being finished. Okay. So, I'm if I'm going to catch the selling season, it's going to be towards the end of the spring season, probably putting me close to June, maybe uh, uh, July. Um, and then there were several rooms back here 
this was probably the most difficult thing I've ever done uh, with construction mm -hmm. uh, because this house is so heavy. It's built. I mean, the walls are that thick. Wow. You know, it's, it's built like a tank. And, <laughs> but this so, is amazing. Yeah. So we put in. We probably have 150,000 in this kitchen. You know, in terms of. Oh, you told me not to put Vikings. Did you put Vikings? That's all Viking here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like your refrigerator. That's not a cheap product. And they have some whole idea. You can hang right out. Oh. And when they were doing their show house, everybody kind of related it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is a big staircase that just came to you. Awesome. You strip this. Yeah. Shape, but my god, how do you tear something like that out? I mean, because back yeah. then they only made closets about this. That's what big. I'm getting at. That's why I'm so surprised that this closet is this right. huge, right? You know, and I love these the little boxes. Welcome to the Black Authors Corner. In each of our shows, we're going to highlight a black author. And today we're going to be highlighting Karen Carey, who wrote the book Second Chance. I'm going to read you just a little bit about what she had to say about why she wrote this book, Second Chance. She says, we all walk through this life day in and day out, and so many times we just don't know the why, the what. What am I here for? What is my purpose for being here on this earth? God, what is your purpose for this life? Then we move forward, trying to figure it out on our own, choosing what we think is the answer, <clears throat> and not really knowing. Hitting roadblocks, obstacles, and being unhappy and very frustrated with where we are, still asking why, and what am I meant to do? Life goes by, and so many get to the end of our lives, and look back and still have no answer to these questions and leave this earth feeling empty and void of the purpose that we were placed here to fulfill. That's just a little bit of what she had to say in this book and why she wrote it. She also wrote a song as well and it's called Second Chance and I think it is on the market by now but if you want to get a copy of Karen's book you can go to Amazon.com. She is there. And um, I hope that you enjoy this book, uh, Karen Carey, Second Chance. Mm -hmm. 